Okay, so I'm gonna do this question. So a 20 year loan of 20,000. Okay, 20,000 is maybe repaid under the Fonson method, an amortization method with equal annual payments at an annual effective interest rate of 6.5. So equal annual payments present value 6.5 percent of 20 years right so we can solve our x m calculator so we could do 20,000 for payment 6.5 as the interest rate 20 number zero future value and then compute a uh, payment. Which is uh, 1815.13. Now for this, problem. The second part is the sinking fund method in which the lender receives an annual effective interest rate of 8%. The sinking fund earns an annual effective interest rate of J. So we've spoken about this before. We had an earlier problem talking about a sinking fund. We spoke about what a sinking fund is and all in all it's a future value concept, right? So it says the lender receives an annual effective interest rate of 8%. Okay, so when we receive an annual effective interest rate of 8%, it's pertaining to this rate multiplied by the loan, as always. So 20,000 times 8% would be 1,600, right? So for each year, when there is, when we receive 1600 uh, and uh, afterwards, and then the sinking fund earns an annual effective interest rate of J. So both months require a payment of X to be made at the end of each year for 20 years. So the payment of X of 1815.13 must apply to method two as well. So if we, if this sinking fund is helping us receive 1600 a year, that means that we have to use that 1600 to pay off the uh, payments that we have to make every year to pay off this loan. So that would mean that for every year of 1600, we would have to subtract both of these. So what we need to pay out of 1815.13 and what the sinking fund provides for us to pay out that portion each year is that amount subtracted by 1600 and then we get 215.13 so that's how much of uh how much money that we would have left in the sinking fund every year so in that case, since this, the sinking fund is a future value concept, uh, we want to calculate J. So future value at effective interest J for 20 years. Right? Uh, and then we set it equal to 20,000. Because that measures up to how much we have to pay off in the loan. We use our future value concept, EVM. So 20,000 is the future value, 20 number of years, 215.13, which is the payment, zero as in present value, compute, interest, and we'll get 14.18, uh, which is close to the answer, 14.2.